Hey, just relax. Nobody's trying to take away your guns. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. It's just sick. So as you can see right there, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're not trying to use word games or say what they really mean behind closed doors and something different out in public. They're saying it loud and clear for everybody to hear. Now, if you're somebody who thinks they're not going to try and ban all semi-automatic weapons, that's not going to happen. Well, there's a couple key phrases that you have not been paying attention to over the years, and we're going to talk about that. That is the proof that that's actually what's next on the list. So if you guys want to know what those phrases are, which are very important and worth paying attention to, stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Acre Gold, which in my opinion is the best way to get into gold. This is how I got into gold because we all know that gold is very expensive. So the upfront cost to get into gold can be quite a bit. Acre Gold lets you buy gold incrementally. Acre Gold has four different subscription plans. A new $30 plan for a one gram bar, a $50 plan, a $100 plan, and a $250 plan for a 10 gram bar. When your gold stash adds up, so each month that you pay for your subscription, it adds up. Once you get enough money for a 2.5 gram bar on the $50 plan, they ship you out a physical 2.5 gram bar of gold. Now, they also have that $100 subscription plan, which gets you into a 5 gram gold bar. Now, if you don't feel like storing gold on site is an option for you, Acre Gold also has a way to buy digital gold so that they'll keep the gold safe for you. And I suggest that you go over to their website, which I'm going to link down below and check it out for yourself and figure out which one is going to be the best option for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, it may seem kind of odd to you that all of a sudden they seem to be going after semi-automatics, but that's actually been the case in just about every ban across this country. You're going to find two phrases in all of those bans, whether it be California, uh, Oregon, New York, Washington, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Illinois, Hawaii. I mean, you name it, you'll find these two key phrases that show that they're already going after semi-automatics. In each one of these bans from each one of these states in the legislation, it clearly says that what they're banning is semi-automatic center fire. So really, if you take a look at it and you take a look at all the legislation that's already occurred across this country, they're going after a specific action, which is semi-automatic. They don't seem to be going after revolvers or uh, lever action, brake action, pump action, things like that. No, it's, it's already been just about semi-automatics. That's been the main thing so far. So for him to come out and say that he can't believe that semi-automatics are, are still available and it's just sick to even think it, he's not off base. That's already what they've been going after, and that's not going to change. If it moves from one category of arms to another, then that might be a little bit of a change, right? They seem to be going after one thing, and maybe they're going to go after something else next. But the key factor in it is still going to be the fact that it's semi-automatic. So I guess the whole point of this video is just to say that we shouldn't laugh this stuff off. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's funny. You know, I rolled my eyes in the back of my head so hard that they actually hurt. But at the same time, they don't have a filter anymore. They're saying exactly what they're thinking and they're putting it all out there so we can see it. And we should take that seriously. Uh, because, again, unchecked, this is what would happen. Uh, basically, we'd end up being Canada if they got their, you know, their way completely. Thankfully, we have the Second Amendment to protect us. I know there's a lot of people say that, you know, this existed prior to the Second Amendment and so forth. But the Second Amendment is what gives us our legs in court. So it's, it's extremely important that we have that. Countries that don't have that, have there's basically nothing standing in the way of them making whatever legislation they want. So, you know, again, while I know it's ridiculous, I know it's just totally outlandish, and I know that it just comes off as kind of ridiculous and funny, uh, pay attention, take notes, because, again, they're telling you exactly what they're looking for. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.